Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Two co-workers were shot and killed while working inside a restaurant by a man out for revenge. Let's delve into what actually happened and why. Please like and subscribe to our channel as we bring you real life stories every week. Let's talk about the facts of this case. Ko Kang Di judge ordered Raylan East to remain in custody, describing his actions as cold and calculated. Raylan, a 36 year old from South Shore, faces charges of first degree murder and unlawful weapon use by a felon for the November 5th killings. After being fired on October 29th from Levy restaurants, Raylan was identified as a disgruntled employee with a history of aggression. He turned himself in after police released images of him using public transportation. Raylan used public transit to access the Navy Pier where he entered a private office and fatally shot two former co-workers. The victims were 51-year-old Lamont Johnson and 47-year-old Peter Jennings. After the shooting, Raylan discarded a weapon in Lake Michigan before fleeing. Police divers later recovered the weapons. Authorities revealed that Raylan, a convicted felon with a history of aggravated robberies, discarded layers of clothing throughout his escape to evade detection. They also said that he doesn't have a license to carry a concealed weapon. First, let me say this. Criminals are very stupid people. The fact that they take the time to think about going about and committing criminal acts like robbery and assault and murder, why don't they use their time more constructively? You know, get an actual job, be creative, do something that's worthwhile, something that's productive in some way. The so Raylan is a 36 year old man who was working in a restaurant for about a year. And during that time working there, he would get into disputes with his co-workers and he would show aggression. And um, eventually, after this happening a number of times, they fired him. So when you're working on any job, you have to be able to get along with your co-workers. You can't show aggression. You can't try to bully people. You just cannot do that. People need to be able to go to work and feel safe amongst their co-workers. And Raylan, obviously he didn't get the memo because before he started working at Levy Restaurant, he was a criminal. He was convicted of aggravated robbery. So Raylan was not a good man from the jump. And I guess the biggest mistake the restaurant made was hiring him. And that's why a lot of people don't want to hire people with criminal records. But instead of Raylan using the job as a way to rebuild himself from his past convictions, he decided to live a life of a bully and a criminal. And he continued to be aggressive to his fellow co-workers and he was written up a couple of times and which led to him being fired eventually. About a week after being fired, Raylan thought it was a good idea to acquire a weapon and go onto his job and kill two people that he felt wronged him. Instead of Raylan thinking of a way to get another job and turn his life around, he dig himself in a deeper hole where he wanted to go and kill the workers because he wanted revenge for being fired. Now he was justfully fired. And even if he was unjustly fired, that's no reason to go kill anybody. But he was justly fired and he went back and decided he wanted to kill his co-workers. And he went and he did just that. He put on his old uniform and he got into the restaurant and proceeded to kill the two men. He shot both of them in the head, killing them instantly. Now there are thousands of people that get fired every year in the US and they don't think about going back to their jobs and killing their supervisors. There are two distinct types of people that's walking amongst us. There are people with morals and there are people with no morals. And people with morals are most of us. Something happens to us and we find a way to cope and we move on. One door closes for us and we just open another one. That's just how life is. And there's another group of people who have no moral fabric in them at all and they will do anything to get by. They would lie, cheat, and murder people for very little reason. So a normal person with morals, after being fired, would think about ways of getting another job. They would update their resume and they will apply for other jobs and try to get another job. And someone with no morals, after being fired, would sit around and think about ways of killing the person who fired them or getting back at the person who fired them. That's the difference. Now in my life, when I've encountered people with low moral fabric, I try to stay clear of them. I don't want to be around anyone who have bad intentions, especially for little to no reason, because that person could destroy you and you won't see it coming. 
because we all assume everyone around us is normal. Everyone around us is sane. Everyone around us have morals. We all assume that, but that's not true. You have to be aware of the people around you. You have to try to figure out what type of person they are. And sometimes they do show you that. And when people show you who they are, believe them and get away from them. These two victims, they had no idea where Elon would come back and murder them. They didn't know he would have been capable of such a despicable act. And now they're gone. And we as the people alive, we need to stand up for the victims. We need to speak for the victims. And people like Raylon shouldn't be existing on this earth with us. And that's why the judge denied him bail. Raylon is a very stupid individual and now he's going to be in jail for a very long time. He's going to be tried and I'm absolutely sure he's going to be convicted because there were cameras everywhere. What really bothers me is that people who claim they don't have money and things are hard, and I've seen this in many cases, yet they have money to buy a gun. I don't understand that. Shouldn't you be using that money for something more productive, for something more non-criminal? Raylan went ahead, bought a gun. He obviously planned this out because he tried to disguise himself. He wore one of those masks that we used to wear during the pandemic. The pandemic is over. When I see someone wearing those masks, I don't think they're up to anything good because they use the mask as a way to hide their identity in order to do criminal activities. This guy's just dumb, dumb as rocks. There were cameras in the restaurant, there were cameras on the street, and there were cameras on the bus that captured him. I mean, this guy's that stupid that he can't see all the cameras around. If I was the mayor of any city in the US, I would make sure that there are cameras everywhere. No criminal will be able to do a crime and get away with it if I was the mayor. I would put aside a budget for cameras on all convenience stores, businesses, homes, buses. I want cameras everywhere so that if someone commit a crime, there would be no chance of escaping. I haven't heard anyone that has come up with this idea. You know what they're coming up with? They're coming up with speeding cameras to stop people from speeding. I think it's more important to get murderers in jail than to stop people from speeding. So we need to be able to catch criminals. So we need cameras. And we need to let the criminals know they're cameras so that we can stop them from doing criminal activities. In my home, I have multiple cameras so that if something ever happens to me or my family, if I don't deter whoever it is, the cops is definitely gonna catch them because they're gonna be on camera. I don't want someone to victimize me or my neighbors or anybody else and get away with it. So Raylan is going to be convicted. There's no doubt he's going to be convicted. My only hope is that he gets the death penalty because the victims, Lamont Johnson and Peter Jennings, didn't deserve to be killed. And these men still have a lot of life to live and they have families and now they're dead. And it's not right and it's not fair. The death penalty should be there. Unfortunately, in the US, there's a lot of states that don't have the death penalty. There's a lot of people that get the death penalty and then it was reduced to life in prison. I say an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. If you kill somebody, the state should do the same to you. People shouldn't be able to get away with destroying somebody's life and destroying their family because their family got to go through this for the rest of their life knowing that their family member was murdered. This is no accident. This is intentional murder. This guy planned this. So he definitely deserved the death penalty, but I, I doubt he's going to get it. Let me know what you think about this story in the comments. And let me just say that I appreciate all my subscribers. I respond to all the comments and I want to make this a community where we all are good people and we live in our lives to help each other out in society. So if you see something wrong, say something. And if you think you're going to get in trouble saying something, then call the police anonymously and let them know, hey, this is what's going on. Be a good citizen. That's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.